Kriyas Yamsov, Hashem split the sea and Bnei Yisrael crossed the sea floor. When Bnei Yisrael almost reached the Yamsov, Moshe commanded them in Hashem's words, Travel further. Hashem will perform a miracle. The sea will turn dry. Meanwhile, the high waves rolled toward the beach. The sea was wild as ever. It surfed powerful and threatening. Hashem was waiting. He wanted to test Bnei Yisrael to see, to see whether they really trusted in him and believed that he would, would try the sea. Would they continue to go further in the sea? Nachshon ben Aminadav, the leader of the tribe of Yehuda, did not think twice. Twice. His belief in Hashem was so strong that he leaped into the sea unafraid. Those of Bnei Yisrael who trusted in Hashem followed. They continued forward. Although the water reached up to their necks, Hashem said, Their great Amunah in me shall be rewarded. He commanded Moshe to stretch out his hand. The water dried up. The rest of the Jews who had not dared to jump into the sea, walked through the sea on dry land. The Midrash tells us some of the miracles that Hashem performed at the Yom Suf. There was not only one dry path through the sea, for Hashem made 12 separate dry tracks for Bnei Israel to cross. That's why each of, no, that way each of the 12 Shvatim was able to cross on its own track. To the right and left of each track of water of the Yamsuf froze into a high wall. The water also formed a roof over the Jews' heads so that each tribe would actually walk in a tunnel. The walls and the roof of the tunnel protected B'nai Israel from the arrows of the Egyptians. Hashem also appointed special angels to stand by the tunnels of ice to watch over B'nai Yisrael and to make sure that none of them would be harmed while crossing. And what if, and what if a, Jew, a, a Jewish child got thirsty? Um, another miracle happened. Um, as soon as he asked for water, the frozen wall of of water next to him opened up and a spring of fresh drinking water gushed out from it from it after the child had finished drinking the spring turned back to, into ice and if a child became hungry and began to cry another miracle happened the walls of the young stuff suddenly brought forth an apple or a pomegranate or whatever the child desired the mother stretched out her arm took the fruit and gave it to the child and you may be sure he began to smile and enjoy the rest of the trip through the Yamsuf. All the Jews crossed safely.